my video got paused. So the back wheel takes seven. This is a continuation, this is part two. <laughs> my back wheel takes seven, and the, that was the driver's side, and this one takes eight and a half, nine. So that's one of my that's one of my excuses why I'm going 28s because I don't want to put 26s and then the truck's leaning on factory airmatic suspension. So they're actually going to convert that. So it will be no 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 more uh, air ride suspension. I don't want to have to deal with that in the future. Not to say it's going to give out, but it's already got that lean. And it was because when I first bought the truck, I believe it been hit, or the 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 owner the owner was a female before I bought it. So I'm the second owner, but I checked the Carfax and I guess she was pulling Dunkin' Donuts or something like that and and, and kind of grinded against the pole. Yeah, ouch. Tell me about it. Trust me, I was not ready to take... One thing about me, when I buy a vehicle, I don't like buying somebody else's problem. I don't. I don't. I'd rather buy a pre-owned vehicle that was in good shape and that I don't have to do little to none maintenance to. And that's, that's, that's pretty much going to take care of me and my family you know i don't want to buy nothing that's just horrible and this and a third so i choose it and i rode it and i fell in love with it it did this this vehicle does have blind spot assist um for 12 and a lot of 12s don't have it so i'm glad that this one does um it has a sensor so when you pull up um you pull up against somebody um it, it go beep beep beep, beep like it, it lets you know you could get the, you got to, oh, excuse me. You got the option to get like push button start. There's so many things I want to do. So I'm just giving you, I'm just giving y'all a list of a few things I want to do, but I wanted to start it now because I've been, I've been falling behind. I haven't been consistent. So I wanted to um, be able to post and, and put it out there so everybody can see, you know, you know, give a lot of people that want to do these trucks inspiration. You know, you don't really see these on the road. I mean, I know in Florida, like 11 years ago, I kept seeing them on the road. So I'm like, dang, these guys have been doing it for a long time. <laughs> but I still feel like mine's is different because there's a pink one. And y'all probably already know some people that do that do. They might see the pink one that, that's in Florida that, that actually I was inspired by because I, I never would have thought I never would have thought I would never have this in any period. I, never, I, I, I didn't like them at first. You know, I'm being honest with you. I didn't like them. I thought it was unattractive. I didn't think it was appealing to me. So I just was like, you know what? Let me just go ahead and just let me just do it for the family, you know. And then, you know, so now it's becoming a, a, a truck that can be, you know, car show ready as well as carrying the family if we all take a road trip somewhere. Um, but it's definitely been good to me since I had it. I haven't had no real issues. I think I did a speed sensor. That's about it because my ABS light popped on. So I got nervous about that because I didn't know what that was. And then I went, the guy said, oh, it's your speed sensor. And I said, oh, word. Okay, let's replace it. <laughs> let's just take care of this now. And um, so I got good mechanics up here. So they definitely know what they're doing when they touch this truck. Um, I can't complain, man. This is a good truck. It's really good. It's really reliable. The new ones, unfortunately, I just can't. I, I, I don't have the job to maintain it. Let's say it like that. I'm not going to say the word I can't afford. I don't have the job to maintain a hundred thousand dollar because that's how much the new GLS has cost a hundred thousand dollars. And God bless the person that can afford it. It's a beautiful ride. Enjoy it. Shoot. Um, but I'm going to keep it old school because I like to keep money in my pocket. <laughs> Shoot. I'm not old. I'm not old fashioned, but I am 37 years old. And I know when you got bills or you got a home or, you know, you got uh, everyday bills like house bills, you only can do so much. And so, you know, so you only you got it's like it's like once it's like when you when you're working and paying rent, sometimes you say, hmm, do I do this or do I do this? So I choose to have cars that I own. I rather own mines and keep all mines without no crazy heavy duty car note than to buy something new if i can do it sure but if if if, if i'm pay, i'm paying consistent rent yeah forget about it i there's no way because i already know what it's like even my yellow car my yellow car payment i'm just put it out there it was 949 dollars a month for a 15 2015 mercedes benz c300 but i put the responsibility on myself because i had the red c300 too that's on my page that was shooting flames i should have just kept that but you know me trying to live the fast life wanted to get something quick so i get it you know so 
you know, it comes with the game. So now, now when I do paperwork or when I'm getting trucks, I'm either going to cash out or have a cheap monthly low, very low monthly payment, you know, so that way I'm comfortable. But no, she's beautiful, man. She's beautiful. I have no complaints. I like it. I'm glad I got this one. I'm glad I did what I did to it so far. A lot more to come. People say I should leave the roof rack black. Um, I'm thinking about it, but knowing me, I, you know, I'm already different. As you can see, you already see what's done to it. I still haven't seen like what I did with the taillights and headlights and stuff like that. And the rain guards and stuff. I, I still don't see these on the road. Like where I live at, I see them, but they're just regular. They're just regular. Everybody just use them as daily drivers, you know, and, and believe it or not, I see a lot of females with these old models older than mine because mine's a 2012. I seen a 2009, it was a black one. And I just, she just like, oh my gosh, look at that one. Like she was just looking like, oh my gosh, that's so dope. You know, but, and it, it, they be looking, they be looking all right. I, I'm not, you know, I, <laughs> okay, I'm lying. Some of them be looking hurt. They be looking hurt and I just be like, okay, it's just a car at the end of the day. But me, it's more than a car. It's like, it's, it's almost like a lifestyle. So I got to stand out. And if I, any, any, that's any car I have, it got to look top notch. But paint to me is always the first thing that I'm gonna do always especially if it needed body work I said there's no way I could put rims with some I just can't do that like I have a routine how I like to do it but she's coming along man she's coming along I'm gonna paint the woman paint the roof rack whenever I get the chance to do that because that's been really good to me putting all my stuff in there the kids stuff in there. I had like six suitcases in that thing like the size it, like you would think it wouldn't even carry that much but that thing right there Yo, that thing carry a lot. I had to add the crossbars too. Like I bought all that separate. That is not a Mercedes roof rack either. That that's the aftermarket one, but you know, some of those Mercedes ones could be very expensive. So if you ever get a chance to look at a luggage carrier slash roof rack or whatever, you'll see what I'm talking about. <laughs> so that one I paid five hundred for, and that's carbon fiber. But it does it does hold. Like it holds a lot of stuff. A lot of st stuff. You might be able to see some of the colors right now, if I'm not mistaken. It's just because I'm in a shady area. No, but she's hot, man. She's hot. Um. So more to come. More to come. I'm. I, my, my thing is, I'm gonna finish all the outside before I work on the inside. Um. I'm gonna do the ambient lighting, like I did the uh, yellow car too, when I was with uh my uh, stepson and I might have him record or not you don't have to if I'm by myself I'm gonna definitely do it I know the kids are busy with mom so I said you know what while I'm cruising around let me just go ahead and just do a video because I like where it's going I like where I'm taking it and yeah it's coming along a few more a few little little small little things I want to do just some tiny little things. I think I'm, I'm gonna do this sticker because I'm I'm supposed to be getting like a blue sticker in the back made for me. Um, and then I'm putting like the finesse sticker in the front, you know, to kind of, it's almost the same color as the tent. I mean, I'm sorry, the uh, paint job. And then after that, all the, all the outside cosmetics is done besides that. But like I said, the guy's out, he just had a baby. So he said three weeks. So I'm just, it's no rush. Gives me time to save a little bit. Um, but yeah, pretty much after the stickers, I'm chilling for a little bit. And I'm going to get back to, you know, saving so I can get those 28s. That's, that's going to be a Florida trip because they have to do the lift down there. That's a 16-hour trip for me because I'm in mass and I'm willing to make that trip. But when it's done, it's going to look crazy. So stay tuned. Stay tuned, you know. It's good seeing y'all. I hope everybody's staying safe. And I'm out. Okay.